What's up guys, it's Jay, Morning after kill, and the other day I put up a video talking about my birthday and why I don't celebrate it and how I'm trying to expand my own horizons and outlook on life. And I'm trying to shed some of the bitterness that I've been holding on to from my past. And you know, in that video I mentioned how I really don't see the point in buying gifts for people since you buy a gift for someone, right? Then what? Well, now they're obligated. I, I wouldn't say obligated, but proper mannerisms in society dictate that you always return the favor with a gift on their next birthday or holiday. And thus, the cycle begins. <laughs> I buy you a gift, you buy me a gift, and then for the rest of our friendship, we keep buying shit for each other that the other person might not really want or have purchased for themselves ever in their entire life. So why not just skip all the bullshit and nip that in the bud, make your life easier and say, how about we just don't buy each other gifts? We save that money and buy ourselves something that we really want with the money that we've already designated to buy you a gift, right? <laughs> That's the life I live. That's the society I want to live in. And if they're really your friend or you really do love them, then their company on that day should be more than enough gift for you. And if, if you do want to buy somebody something, it, sh it should be done out of the goodness of your heart. Because you wanted to, and not just because it's a designated gift given day. <laughs> at, at least that's the way I look at it. But to, that doesn't mean that I don't try to be the nice guy every now and again in my life. In fact, within the first few months of my relationship with my current girlfriend, this is going back about nine some years, but. At the start of our relationship, things were a little bit odd. I'll, I'll admit it. <laughs> I mean, all right, she is 20 years older. I'm my third man, girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend is 20 years older than me. That doesn't bother me at all. It shouldn't bother you at all. If you're going to say something smart in the comments, hold your motherfucking tongue. We ain't playing that shit around here. <laughs> But she is 20 years older than me, and it, it didn't really start out as anything super serious, right? When we met, you know, I, I was working at a Ford dealership. She came in for an oil change. You know, eyes caught eyes. We started talking. I copped her number, and one thing led to another. And 10 hours later, after work, I was smashing her ass on her living room couch. Please. Believe that. <laughs> like I said, it didn't really start out too serious, right? You know, she'd call me up, I'd come over, we'd hang out, watch a movie, she'd suck my dick, we'd fuck, and then she'd send me on my way with a can of soda and a pack of dinosaur and shark fruit sets. <laughs> well, one time, she even gave me a hundred bucks before I left to help me pay my rent. Because I, I mentioned, you know, oh my god, I'm a couple of bucks short for my rent. And she, she, she gave me a fucking hundred dollar bill after we were done and I was on my way out the door. And she was like, oh, here. And she pulled it out of her purse and handed it to me. And to this day, she still maintains that she wasn't paying me for the sex. But let's be honest. I fucked her damn good that night. And I... I would have paid me a hundred dollars to be fucked like that. I said, hitting it from behind, you know, the sweat's glistening on my forehead, my legs up in the air, yeah. Balls are slapping asses. It's a good time. <laughs> like I said, I'm getting off topic here. I, I was I was enjoying the relationship that we had, right? She was cool as fuck. We got along and, and the big kicker to me was that Sweeney Todd is a movie that was coming out in a few weeks and none of my friends ever heard of Sweeney Todd. Even when I mentioned the movie, I was like, you guys want to go see that movie Sweeney Todd that's coming out? They're like, what the fuck is Sweeney Todd, right? 
kind of kind of disappointed in my friends about that, but I didn't really expect them to know what Sweeney Todd actually was, but she did. She knew what it was about, and she knew that it actually started as a play that was adapted for a movie, and you know, that that is probably what sealed it for me, right? Here's a woman I could fuck for a few hours. She doesn't mind if after I'm done, I wash my dick in the sink, and I left to go hang out with my boys and go get all fucked up, and she was relatively cultured to the point to where she wasn't snobby about her intelligence, but she was intelligent. She's capable of holding on to a conversation, talking about current events without mentioning celebrity gossip every five fucking minutes. You know, I was 24-ish, 25 at the time, so most of the women that I was meeting at the time and in the mid-twenties are very fucking annoying like that. I just want to talk about Katy Perry in One Direction. I don't fucking want to hear about that. But, you know, I, I like the fact that she was able to hold a conversation that was reasonably intelligent about shit that's going on in the world. So, it, it was right around that time I, I decided, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm... I, I, I want to get more serious with her, but I don't. I don't want to sit her down on a couch and have that. You know. Oh, you know. I. I, I want to see where this is going. Conversation. That's not my style, man. <laughs> I wanted to show her. I wanted to whip it on. <laughs> and even though I don't like to normally exchange gifts, I thought, what better way to show her that I want to be serious about this? Then to pop up unannounced to, with a Valentine's Day gift, you know, be all romantic about it. So I, I went to the store and I'm sitting there walking around the grocery store and got my my cart in my hand and I'm I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself I'm like, what the fuck do you get a 45 year old woman for Valentine's Day? I mean, she's she's already gone through all the bullshit in her life of being you know suited and fucking courted by other dudes and shit like that, you know. How, how do you show a grand gesture that you want to be serious with it without being uh, overly cheesy, right? Or cliche, as they put it. You know, we, we were already fucking at that point, so I, I, I wanted it to be sexual in nature. You don't want to show up with a rubber dildo and some lube and be like... Hey, <laughs> I was just swinging around. <laughs> you don't want to do that. That's just a little over the top for a show and a girl that you want to get into a serious relationship with. You you want to have a little bit of the romance involved. Like I said, you, you don't want to be cliche about it and, you know, candy hearts and the roses, they're all overrated, expensive as fuck, and roses have thorns! Fucking hurt if you're not careful. <laughs> it's too much cliche for me. So I, I opted to get her a really nice card. You know, I put some thought into it, just looking through the card aisle, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, you, you do the shit where you just open it up, you read it, you're like, eh. You open up the next one, you're like, and then you find the one, you're like, oh, this says what I want to say without being over the top about it. Or even understated that sometimes. <laughs> so I bought her a really nice card and some chocolate covered strawberries, because that's sexy, right? Some strawberries dipped in chocolate, you get a can of whipped cream. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with that. So I I toss them in my car, and I'm sitting there in the line of the Acme, and the cashier is like, boop, and it looks, and boop, <laughs> and I put the, the whipped cream up on the counter, and boop, <laughs> he looks at me, I look at them, it's Valentine's Day weekend, the smirks are traded, it's not like he hasn't seen it before, but... There's nothing to say in that situation. He knows what's going down. So I pay and I get the fuck on up out of there. Now, now picture this, right? I'm rolling in my Camaro, chilling on my way to her house, and I'm, I'm just sitting there at the red light. I'm like, damn, them strawberries smell 
good as fuck. And I love strawberries. I really do. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it, right? I'll sneak one. She, she doesn't know how many are in there, right? So I, I, I grab one for the ride. I, I, I swear, man, this literally to this day is the best strawberry I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so, I was like, you know, fuck it. I have another. And then pretty soon it was another. And I looked and I was like, oh man, I already ate half of this. You could tell that there has been some strawberries eaten out of this container. So I ate another one. <laughs> I was like, fuck man. And I, I, I look and I'm like, oh shit. And to make matters worse, I picked up the card, and my fingers had melted chocolate on them, and I got chocolate on the card. I'm like, fuck! Now I ruined the card! And I, I didn't want to get any more chocolate on anything trying to get out of my car, because my Camaro was black with a tan fucking interior. I didn't want to fuck that up either, so I was like, looking around, I was like, usually I keep napkins in the center console, but I couldn't open the center console because I had chocolate on my fingers, and I didn't want to fuck that up, so... I look in the receipts there in the bag. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I wipe my hands off on the receipt. And I'm sitting there with the card, chocolate fingerprints all over it. I'm fucked. Th th then I got the stroke of genius. And I tossed the receipt in the card. And I sealed it up in, you know, inside the little envelope and lick it up and pop that down. And I put the card in the bag with the whipped cream. And I handed her the card. And she was like, she opened it up and she looks at it. She goes, fuck is this? It's, it's card with chocolate all over, right? And she, she opens it up and there's a receipt in the card. Who the fuck puts a receipt in the card? I do, motherfucker. I put a receipt in the card. And she's like, putting two and two together as she reads it. And she's like, did you buy me chocolate covered strawberries and eat them all the way here? <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, I did. And she was like, well, why, why'd you bring the whipped cream? And what, what's the whipped cream for in the bag? I looked at her and I was like, you're next, baby. <laughs> that is how you save Valentine's Day. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking videos. I want to thank you guys for all the support on these story time videos this week. And I, I didn't really have a lot of time to get to the guides that I really wanted to make and get done. But I, I, I don't want to put up a remastered Borderlands. It's already bad enough that I'm redoing content that I've done back in the day. But I want to do it in the toppest notches of quality that I can bring you guys in. Like I said, I, I don't want to half-ass my remastered Borderlands guide. And I didn't have the time to get them done. So uh, they didn't get done. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather put one of these story times up. Did you guys enjoy and then save the other guides for when I actually had the time to properly put them together for you guys. But I'm glad you guys enjoy these vids. I enjoy making them for you. My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.